body image. Yeah, that's a big one. But okay, you lost weight. What made you lose weight? Were you, okay, you were always like kind of a every picture of you is like you're you're a chunkster, right? Did you care back then? Yeah, of course. And I and I also remember like this is a thing like even some of my friends now it's been so long, they don't remember that when they met me I wasn't chunk like they don't remember like when, when they, did you get fat high school well here's the thing I've been up and down my whole life so I got fat in high school like I graduated fat but in college I lost all the weight and when I moved to L A I was 180 185 pounds so everybody that I met 2002 2003 to, like I was a 185, 190 pound dude, including like, like Bert, he's like, I don't remember that. I'm like, cause you think about yourself all the time, but, <laughs> but like, that's how you met me. And then I slowly gained weight again. So I'm saying it's always been a, a, a struggle or like an issue that I feel like I resent. I think I resent that that's. You resent that your body wants to do that or you rent. I resent that my body wants to do that. I also resent that it's part of my story. I hate that. I, I, Oh yeah, you know, I like know what you I, mean. I wish it weren't. Yeah, part of something I had to deal with. Acknowledge. And it's just like how did to quote Larry King, how did you gain all the weight? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> was that the college? Did yeah, you, yeah, yeah. How did you gain the weight? It's <laughs> <laughs> so funny. He's like, uh, he was so uh, thrown by that. Uh, yeah. How did you gain all the weight? Um, just eating a lot. Just eating, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, it's it's. There's nothing. You know, no secret. Yeah, it's funny. If you just eat like shit, and eat don't, like shit, don't, don't move. move a lot. Yeah, you'll get fatter. It's so that was simple. kind of it. I mean, yeah. Did you have the delusional thing where you're like, well, this is kind of sculpted? Was there like it's, but it's hard fat, and that there's no, I, you, there's different delusions. I went, I had Part many me through the delusions as you said. Yeah, the, the, well, so first of all, I remember, I remember shooting this thing in '05. So I've been out here or three years and when i went to grab the pants for it they didn't close and i was like that's weird because they've been my pants for a few years i was like this is weird. someone switched my pants someone, out someone took my pants <laughs> and you sewed, sewed they, they, them they must have done some sewing what the fuck yeah and then i weighed myself and i it, you know it sounds like it was out of nowhere but i was like 225 and i was like that's weird because i'm not 225 you know, like I'm not. <laughs> they uh, fuck with the scale too. Yeah, they change the scale. They change the pants. What are they doing in this house, man? So I feel like I just was like they put fat prosthetics all over my neck and, and my while waist. I was asleep. This is bullshit. But the thing is, at that time, I was like, kind of figuring out what kind of stand up I am. Uh huh. And I was, you know, I was a real club guy. I always had like dirty jokes, and and, and I was like kind of fits like right being 20 pounds I have or whatever a fat over, act yeah that's what you were saying like, yeah. yeah or it's, and it's gonna get fatter i think you know <laughs> so i i started to like i i let myself believe that hey that's part of who you are now you can be like this slovenly up late eat late have a couple drinks talk about porn what like it fits yeah and so you just kind of like allow that and then the next year, like there's no keeping it like in check. There's so it, you can't get a little. It's gonna just start headed that way. It starts to get just worse yeah. pretty quickly. You know, like uh, within I don't know another year, another <laughs> excuse me, 10, 15 pounds, easy, right? So it's just starting to go up. And at that point, I think I have full blinders on too. Like where you know, there's this thing you do when you're anyone who's overweight does this which is like when you walk, when you see yourself in a mirror, faster than you can actually say it or think it, you adjust for the mirror to look like less fat. So like you, it's, it's, a, it's a fascinating thing that the mind does because you look in a mirror and, and let's say you go like, um, you know, your face, whatever looks fat, you just go like this and then you go, that's what I look like. In the, in the brief second, right. you go, that's what I look like. And then you just kind of like turn away from the mirror. You're not... And that's why a lot of people overweight like hate having their photos or they'll be like, you know, let me see yeah. that photo before you post it. It's like they want to represent themselves yeah. in a way that looks presentable. They don't want it yeah. to look like what they really look like. Do you think like. it's true? Do you think like the angle is true? Is like the that's the part of the delusion rest angle in the, in the moment. The at rest angle is a mistake. Right. Yes. Have you ever gone there's a fat person coming and then it was you? 
<laughs> There's a time I remember sitting on flights and I go like like this and felt my finger here and thought someone was touching me. I'm like, who's touching? And I was like, oh, that's me touching myself. You were haunting yourself. Yeah, yeah like touching a fat roll that's oh, hanging. So but the fucked up thing about it is like how much mental space it occupies in you. Yeah. You, you, all day, right? Like you, you have the, these thoughts about like you're unhappy with the way that you look and the way that you feel. Because that's the other thing is like, the one thing is the aesthetic thing of like, this isn't the most flattering to look at. You also don't feel great. You don't feel great physically. You don't feel in a way great. you're aware of. Yeah, exactly. And and you're but like you're emotionally beat up by it. You know what I mean? And it's I keep thinking of the fat bastard monologue from Austin Powers uh -huh. too. Oh yeah. Too. I eat because I'm unhappy. I'm unhappy because I eat. Yeah, <laughs> and that's and it's that all that is true. And then the to make it extra fucked up, and this is like why human beings are so fascinating, is that you go. I'm just not going to like, I'm just not going to address this. Or you'll think about like how miserable you are about it. And then you'll sit down and be like, what do you want to eat? And you'll be like, how about like a triple bacon cheeseburger with fries? Like you just order the worst thing to eat. And then you'll sit there and be like, yeah, I'm just, and not. it's, it really is because you're unhappy. Well, I think it's you're unhappy and you're scared. You're, I think you're actually scared to try. You know how people, they well, go. It's also, you also probably realize it's a multi-year thing and it's forever. It is forever. I think. At the time, too, you go, if I have a salad right now instead of this thing, what's that going to do? What's right. That, you know, I'm just going to wish I'd eaten this. So I'll just eat this. And then <laughs> why dream of this when I can live it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then you just stay in this fucking pattern. You stay in this in this cycle of like eating shitty food, not exercising, sleeping like shit, waking up feeling Did you tired. Have, I, that's a funny one that Americans eat so much they can't they it breaks their sleep it fucking it's, it's insane yeah and then you're like you know you start snoring crazy yeah right and you're like i don't know why i'm snoring so much and they're like i think it's because your face meat is obstructing the yeah, air it's passage a, i have a suspicion yeah. and hear me out yeah you're 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 not your body's fucked up yeah. you've ruined your body yeah and it takes a long time before you recognize this. I think you have to be out of it before you can see it. Snoring Crazy is such a funny, it's like a Richard Pryor album title. It's, I know. This motherfucker snores, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like you, you don't see it when you're in it. And then you do see it once you're like addressing it is how much you are emotionally eating. Like people go like, oh, I'm an emotional eater. You hear that, I think when you're in it, you're like, mm, I don't really know what you're talking about. Like, that's how you're delusional you are. Don't know what you're talking about. As you are able to start addressing these issues and like working on it, then you see it more clearly. You're like, oh, I was stressed out or, or, or anxious and I was just like. And is it a thing like where do, people that are alcoholics will be like, we should get a drink. We should bad news we got a drink good news we got a drink no news i'm bored we got to drink. Absolutely. Like, it's the same thing i think it's the same thing i think it's like great show let's go have yeah. a, like a fucking banquet <laughs> right i mean that was like that was like a big thing is like that yeah. was tonight was great let's fucking shut this restaurant down you yes know? i mean yeah bad show you're like oh, let's fucking get we gotta shut this restaurant down yeah, shut this shit down <laughs> but yeah, all, all emotions were like tied to eating crazy amounts and, of food. Yeah, as like punctuation. Mm -hmm. And why does the delusion creep up on you? Yeah. Because you're saying like, you're explaining all the delusion. I'm assuming, are you, and my second question is, are you judgmental of other fat people? Very. <laughs> yeah, very. Yeah, great. No, it's bad. <laughs> Real human. I mean, I here's the thing. I also, I feel like a lot of it's tied to the effort I see. If I see somebody who's really overweight and like trying, I'm like the biggest cheerleader for that person. Yeah. If I see somebody who's in their delusion and like acting like it's not a thing, I'll be like, the fuck is wrong with you? You know, I'll judge them. Not necessarily to their, I'm not going to like say yeah. that to their face, but yeah, I'll, I'll judge. You don't confront them. <laughs> hey, fatty, <laughs> the fuck is all this? I don't like when people get me involved in their weight loss journey and then they just get fat again. Yeah. It's like, dog, come on. Pick it. You're like, didn't you say that? What's yeah, it going to be? Yeah, I said it to Eric Griffin one time. Where I was like, like you got it. You can't.
And what, I said, what are we doing Oprah. here? What are we doing? Are yeah, we, like what? I'm not. Don't get me involved. Yeah. Don't get me emotionally invested. And then when you're making decisions. Yeah. But I have to be. I have to root but for you. One of the things that I think is great about like people talking about this, or even like a show like yours, is I saw a clip of you saying that you are like, oh, my love handles or something, right? One night on stage, you go, hey, I see you grabbing your love handles. Which yeah. most people are like, what? <laughs> like this guy? Yeah. But the reason that that's good is that it makes everybody go like, oh, yeah, like this isn't just like everybody has that self-critical voice. Yeah. And when they see somebody who's like objectively a thin guy who still is critical of themselves it actually goes like it makes you go like oh even like even he even a can, hero even a great guy like this yeah one, one of the great men one of the like, mr olympia is yeah. fucking criticizing um, himself the psychology of it's fascinating to me it totally is and, and here's the thing it it never like really like you know i'm always thinking that i look terrible and that someone's judging you look me. great dude and i don't say it like i mean like you're it it's an odd thing where you look like you look like Rogan. Rogan's the stunt double for you. <laughs> Thank you. You know what I mean? Thank you. Like, yeah. all right, let's get the the guy, and he's going to drive the car off the cliff. Yeah. And you're like, all right, I'll be in my be trailer. Right there, yeah. I, uh, I, <laughs> that's very funny. I've, I've made, like, I've made progress in, in, in the sense that uh, I'm still, like, pretty critical, I think, of myself physically, but, like, have gotten to the point where, like, you know, I was at the beach. And you like, were, we were downstairs. You almost popped off a croissant. <laughs> I said no. Yeah, you said no, but you were like, you entertained it. I just said, so, what are you doing to us? Yeah, no, I, but I, it felt like it was in the realm of possibility that you might go like, fuck it. Yeah. Well, are, do you have like a strict regimen? I wouldn't say it's super strict, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't have gotten one um, because I probably would, what I do now is like, oh, a croissant? I'm not going to fuck with this guy's croissant because I know where the best croissants are. Yeah. And I'd be like, oh, if I really want one, I'm going to make myself go there. My point is I would indulge in something that was spectacular. Yeah. Whereas 10 years ago, I'd be like, I, I, I call it like a uh, reckless. Is it self loathe Is it self? And it really is just this self-loathing uh, feedback loop. I kind of. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then hate it, you know, man, that's good. Or, you know, like that was such a good croissant, but like, God, and then I'd be like, man, I feel like, like I look like shit. I feel like shit. And then I always like would, you know, I, I, I had when I was younger, so many times where I want to say like so many times, but a few times where a woman would like me and like make it very clear. And I would just turn her down. Like, because I was like, yeah, but you won't. You must have almost dreaded being taking your shirt off. Yeah, at times, but I also just dreaded like I was like she won't actually like this. She like uh, she doesn't know that I'm over with like like she's blind. <laughs> like she doesn't know I'm fat. She she can't How possibly could like she? this. Yeah. She can't see it's my secret through this shirt. She's <laughs> you know? seen photos where I did this. So she's going to She knows I'm actually she thinks I'm this guy, <laughs> you know. Yeah. It's so crazy. But it's all like Yeah, it's all crazy. Fucking, but we are it's this weird thing about being a human is like we're dropped into these bodies. Yeah. And sometimes they feel like this is me. Yeah. And then other times it just feels like this thing we're in. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like my body. Ah. Yeah. And then, but if it's asleep, you're like, what is this? What is this? Like, what the fuck is this thing? Yeah. And then the the psychology around it is very hard to untangle. It is. What was hardest? Like the, just the eating differently or eating is the, different. the mental portion? Well, I guess they're kind of all tied together. I mean, yeah. changing how you actually eat. When you, I think when you, especially when you're like overly in, indulging and overeating all the time, it's like, it really is something you have to focus on. You have to it like, must feel like a demotion also. Yeah, like, but the, the funny thing is though, that like as soon as you find a pattern of good, like it's not, you, you, yeah. you like I wake up every day and I basically have, yogurt with blueberries some like and i don't go like oh fuck yeah i gotta eat this bullshit like i it's just what i go to eat yeah you know it's and I, and i feel better it's funny like i'm like oh yeah there isn't like a crippling diarrhea every day because i'm not 
eating garbage. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I used to eat so crazy and I'd be like, I don't know what's going on with my stomach. <laughs> and then I meet people now who are like the same. Like they'll be like, man, I was up all night. I was like, yeah, what do you think it was? You think it was I can't, the fucking- I can't figure it out. You had that gyro with the fries and the two pieces of baklava. I don't, or the goat, was it the feta, block of feta cheese? What do you think it was? I, don't, I definitely wasn't like, that. I don't know, man. But something's going on in my stomach. I, I have a, I don't know if I ever talked about it on here, but I, there's a thing called uh, Occam's razor, which is just a, it's basically like whatever the most obvious explanation for something is. Razor? Occam's razor. Uh, A-K-A-M. I thought it was like a new Gillette thing. Okay. <laughs> no? I mean, it might be. I don't know where it's from, but it's, it means whatever the most obvious explanation is, that's the explanation. And that's a whole, and, but we do it. We love denying it. Like yeah. it couldn't be the block of feta cheese it right. couldn't be the swedish fish that i ate at yeah. 1 15 in the morning no but the psychological one like it couldn't be well i know i don't like distant women because my mother's distant yeah 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 there's no possible it's like no dude whatever the most obvious explanation is that's what that's what is happening that's what's happening the way that the human mind operates that allows the it the way that it allows you to get through the day mm -hmm. is by taking things uh, away from your point of view and going, yep, it must be over here because these it's things like I don't like. It's like, a, it's like your brain is basically like a horrible entourage. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> I'm like, no, boss, I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> no, man, they something fucked up. It, somebody must have put some shit in your food. Yeah. That's the only reason I have diarrhea. Those Not, uh, cheese bacon balls ain't it, dog. No, nah, no, nah, mm -mm. nah, nah, I'll tell you what, them shit's too delicious. They were delicious. Fuck. No, yeah. they wouldn't, it wouldn't be like that. It wouldn't hurt your stomach like um, that. Forgive the black voice, guys. You get what we're saying. You know what it is. You already know what it is. <laughs> hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it, though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab-assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe. And then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high-pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.